Okay, last shitty hack joke. I don't promise. <laughs> um, yay! So I'm here, I'm also bartending back there at the same time. Don't look back there! That's how the Discovery Channel does their effects. That's how I'm doing it. So, um, you know what that means when I bartend? It means I basically just get to see your guys' butt cracks in the guy on stage, which is pretty good for a comic. I like that. It's my two favorite things. So, butt crack and a dude on stage. Yeah. Hooray! So, uh, let me tell you a little bit about me. I'm Cass Smiley, and what that means is that uh, my vagina is like warm English pudding. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Don't go. Oh. It's fucking disgusting. Don't eat it. Not like you would anyway, honey, but don't eat it. That's a funny joke for the two people who get that he's probably a dick sucker. <laughs> I know, it's hard to suck a dick. For real. For real. For real. For real. First time I did it, I threw up in a guy's lap. Oh. Truth. Truth. Uh, I also have a nickname, and they're really fun but hard to live up to. And that's why I no longer go by little Cassie Tight Crotch. <laughs> it's something that used to be true a long time ago. Hmm. Hmm. Look at how Matt Bergoon ponders the reality of that big trip. Hmm. <laughs> Um, so I was just uh, outside hanging out with uh, Billy Ray Davis and I was telling them all about uh, when I went to Gnome and Gnome was really fun and I want to read, like some of you guys have already heard the story but Greg Shelley has and I thought it'd be funny because, Greg, have you ever been to Gnome? No. It's shitty, don't go there. <laughs> don't. Although it's okay, I mean it's alright. If you want to see a dude who has a pet reindeer in the back of a truck, go there. <laughs> but don't pet the reindeer like I did because they tried to bite me and it like hissed at me. I didn't know reindeers hissed. It was scary. <laughs> so I felt like I learned something. It's like the more you know that you didn't want to. It's fucking terrifying. Um, but no one's crazy. There's a street called Front Street and basically that's like, it's like the strip in Vegas. So like Gnome is kind of like Vegas. And the fact that like in the daytime there's fucking no one around. But when they are around they're inside like some kind of bar. I mean, like no one's outside in the daytime. But at night, it becomes like this weird outdoor city with like naked people just like outside on the sidewalk and you're like, holy shit, don't they know how scary that is? It's frightening. So I stayed above the bar where I was um, doing comedy and that's really great and really terrible because it really wasn't an apartment at all. But it had these big bay windows that looked out on the sea and I was so pumped and I saw these two guys like down at the end of the steps by the seawall and I was like, oh shit, those guys look like bums. I love about Spinar, I don't know what bums look like, you know? Mm -hmm. I got bums that hang out at my house all the time. So I, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a foreigner in, in Nome. I don't know, it could be like the mayor and his wife. I don't want to step on toes. So I just asked really politely, I'm like, hey, so are they staying here too? Are they like the maintenance guys or? And she she takes a look at the window, our little tour guide, she's like, no, nah, those guys are fucking bums. And I was like, yes, my bum radar was right on. And what do they do in their garden, my stoop? Just like they do on Spinar. I felt so at home. I was like, dude, they just like know this about me? You know, they create my Facebook and then just like try to recreate a more natural place for me to hang out. It was weird. I just got to hang out and look at the sea and smoke pot and hang out with my bum guards. It was really cool. And I, I went up there with Michael Joy. And Michael Joyce is another comic, and uh, he's also a dad. So he was the, the resident old dude. And it was hilarious. So they trying to get the bum guards to go away because they obviously made him uncomfortable. Me, I totally felt safe and at ease with my bum guards. I even like walked right past them like this, and I, I got this close to them. Can you say that, white people? That you got this close to native bum guards and gnome? Oh, <laughs> no, because you value your life. You're fucking scared shitless, and you don't ever want anything bad to happen to you. So, um, I'm gonna leave you with my favorite moment from Nome. Michael Joy is trying to get these bum guards to disappear, and uh, he, he leans out the window and he goes, hey guys, guys, uh, you're gonna wake up the baby. My wife just put the baby down, and you're gonna wake up the baby. And obviously there's no fucking baby. They wouldn't let three haggard ass comedians hang out with a little tiny, <laughs> sweet, innocent infant baby. So, uh, he, you know, one of the drunk guys is like trying to rouse his friend, and it's hilarious, like the, gentlest bum fight I've ever seen in my entire life. He's gonna hit the gun and then he's just like, hey, wake up. And he's like, no, oh, come, no, hey, hey, come on, let's go. And the other guy's just like, not having it. But Michael Joyce still insisting, hey, guys, guys, you're gonna wake up the baby, guys. And I am laughing my ass off slash peeing my pants at the same time making baby noises from the other room, like, <laughs> which sounds more like a baby T-Rex. All right, I'm Cass Marley, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your night. Come buy drinks for me and laugh at her.
she hopes that you guys were real chill poop fans, you would know what I'm talking about. Kevin Smiley, everybody, let her I like that, uh, the more you know that you didn't want to song. That's like the theme song for the TV show about uh, hanging out with my mom. Do you guys not know her? She sucks. <laughs>